Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sakura Sakura episode. Today, we're going to be talking about the season of Hanami right now, but okay. we're going to be looking into the specific reason why are the Sakura cherry blossom trees so important in Japan? Why are they so loved? Why is it such a big thing to have a celebration welcoming these cherry blossoms? Sit under them, enjoy the nice new weather at a Hanami, but... What about the beautiful ume trees? You know, some people I've heard like them better, but they, they look about the same. They come actually earlier. That's so true. I would think of it as an earlier kind of sense of renewal. Right. Spring is here, but no, 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 no. It's about the sun. Adam, have you ever asked a question why? I never really asked it, but I thought about it. And because like they do come roughly around weeks of each, like two or three weeks earlier, the, the Ume trees are blossoming. And the first time they blossom, I'm like, oh yeah, cool, Sakura, they're blooming already. And someone's like, no, they're Ume tree. Oh, aren't they special too? But I mean, the one biggest thing that is really important, the, the, the symbol of the cherry blossom really is connected with just the renewal, the rebirth of the spring, the year. And we can see that not only by looking at the trees, but thinking about, hey, if you're in a business, got to get that physical year end and started right. in this season. Tax season is uh -huh. now. It yeah. finishes. You get all that stuff done. And now you can go hang out, drink some sake and, and eat some dango under the cherry blossoms <laughs> and celebrate the start of a new year. Right. Going to another start of something big for yeah. any children out there who are studying, learning, going to school, you are moving into the next year of your school. And that is such a big, big connection. You can see so many cherry blossoms around schools in Japan. And it's right, right. really amazing to see how it's like, yeah, almost like the trees are welcoming this new class. That's probably what makes it even more of a special occasion. Just two big events happening at the same time, starting a new school year or starting a new work life. Plus, everything's around you is like beautiful. So it's like, it gives you hope for the coming, what's to come, what's in the future, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah. And I think like, you know, there's the, this, just the symbol yeah. of the cherry blossoms are, are really like well used, like around uh, during the right. season, like you can find yeah. Yeah. that petal and it's just like a nice motif that you can find in many different types of, even like silverware, mm, like, right. like yeah. dishes and stuff, clothing as well. It like goes so far connecting with people in Japan and the culture, the society. You cannot escape Sakura fevers. <laughs> it's everywhere. Anywhere you go, you go to a store, you turn on the TV, no matter if yeah. you're watching the news or variety show, like they're going to be talking about cherry blossoms or mm -hmm. they'll be having like some, the logo is going to have cherry blossoms on it or something. Right. Or some the color of the set that's is going to have cherry blossom colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet you can go and get different flavors of different foods that taste like cherry blossoms and stuff. Me and Adam did an episode a while back where we taste tested a bunch of cherry Sakura flavored stuff. And every year they keep on making them just for the season. And every year we keep on buying them. <laughs> People love it so much. It's into like the, the culture of songs in Japan. True. I don't think Many there is a band out there who does not have a song kind of titled <laughs> Sakura. Sakura. If you go to karaoke and you're looking for a song and you just type in Sakura, it's going to take you a while to go through all of the different songs that are out there. It's something that we do not have in North America. A strong connection why. like this. Yeah. Yeah, with the nature. Is it probably with the, the different religions that are in Japan, like Shinto and Buddhism? I wonder if it's... There's a connection there with nature and embracing nature and the changes that nature has. Because that's something I felt that's really important in Japan as well. And it might be the reason why such a big change to your surroundings would be celebrated. And it's gone on for such a long time that it's yeah. just become second nature for everyone to celebrate. When it's getting warm, you go out, you enjoy the cherry blossoms. Now, not only... You Does everyone want to get outside because it's getting warmer? You want to enjoy the weather, hang out with your friends again, but you also want to check out the cherry blossoms. You know, there's that phrase, hana yori dango. 
which one are you there for? Are you at Hanami to check out the beautiful cherry blossoms, which you'll see plenty of people with their Ichigam Nef out there <laughs> snapping away pictures. or like, you know, setting up their, their toy poodle with like, like little ribbons of the cherry blossoms in the back or figurines. I've seen, um, like oh yeah. People taking their toys, like figures, I guess maybe the otaku culture, it's common yeah, to yeah, take yeah, out yeah. your figurines and take pictures with the Sakura because they're it's, plastic it's like, models. Yeah. Yeah. But again, yeah, this is something we really don't have in North America. There's nothing that is like such a symbol that is like, hey, everyone is is behind it. Everyone's connected to it as right. strong as it is with the cherry blossom sakura. Because going back to like the songs, I feel like all of the songs that are sung about the cherry blossom, it's about like starting anew. It's about like moving on in life. And there's like deep meaning to it. Of course, I think this is connected with how much emotional change kids go through when they are growing up, going on to the next class, going on to the next year, going from elementary school to middle school, middle school to high school, high school to college. College to work? Oh, that's the worst of all. And maybe? Uh, yeah, I guess. But it but, still happens. I mean, like everything, yeah. all the changes tie in to the season, right? And yes. I remember like even um, a while back when the government and maybe officials were education officials were talking about making the Japanese school year line up with the Western school year. And people were saying, well, cool, but we really like to have the start of everything in line with exactly the cherry blossoms and we don't want to change that. It's like nice for us as students, workers, like we like to see this cherry blossoms and feel fresh atmosphere of the year beginning with the start of the blooming of the cherry blossom just like it goes hand in hand so it's 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 connected so much that you don't want to change and separate from it right right where well, i think it i guess we do have it similar because if you were to think about saying in north america yeah okay we want to change the school year you know when you move on to a new school year we're going to change it to the japanese style because i think many people would be like yeah it's about summer. And there's probably plenty <laughs> yeah. of bands that have made like summer songs right. that are talking uh, about like yeah. that summer love that summer you have. vibes. We want to party, go to the beach. And that is something that impacts all of us, you know? Yeah, right. I have yeah. plenty of stories. You probably have plenty of stories growing up, different summers. If you went to camp, if you just hung out with your friends, going on <laughs> jumps on your bike and stuff and like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kissing girls and whatnot. Like... <laughs> So much, so much. Yeah. So I definitely understand the connection, that hard connection that people have in Japan with the cherry blossoms. And it just is something that has been helping them move on to the next step in their life every year. Like a push. Light, pink, beautiful, push. soft <laughs> push. Let us know in the comments, everyone. What do you think about cherry blossoms? Do you love Hanabi? Do you love the cherry blossoms? The Sakura? What is the best part about Sakura? for you like yeah. the video and subscribe to the channel yes but that's it we'll see you on, on the, the next, next step, step.